Hey guys, Windows 18 Hacks here. Now, um, I'm gonna be redoing one of my older videos. It's actually my very first video, and that is, um, how to change Windows Media Center's background. Now, it does require you to have Windows 8 Pro with Media Center, or if you're still using Windows 7 or Vista, um, it's essentially the same. Now, um, all you're gonna have to do is basically find an image that you want to use as the background. Just go ahead and go to Google or some other search engine. And I want something space like. So I'll just Google space. Go to images and find a fairly decent image. This one looks alright. Just click on view original. Right click it, save picture as. Gonna save it there. Now there's something that you are gonna have to note and that is this is a J a JPG file. Now it has to be PNG. So um just open up paint and then drag and drop it to it and then um, you can go to file save as and PNG picture and save it Now, um, there's something else, it's that, um, it's gonna have to be the size around, um, uh, if I remember correctly, it was 500 by 300, um, I'll just take a quick look. Take a quick look. Um, yep, it's 500 by 300. Now, um, you're just going, if you want, you could try and resize it. Go by pixels and then um, have it try and maintain aspect ratio. I'm going to put 500, see where that goes. Uh, 312 I suppose it doesn't need to stay like that for this image that looks fine just go file save as PNG um, I'll just replace that one now that you have the image um, obviously I'm using resource hacker um, you're gonna have to open up a new tab on your um, on your internet browser and um, just Google resource hacker. Yeah, not that great with spelling, but whatever. Just go to the first link. Of course, as long as it's not an ad. And then go to setup file. Shouldn't take that long. Run it. Click yes. And 
Oh, resource hacker is already running. I'll just close that and then continue. Doesn't take that long. And then go to your computer and then Windows 8, Windows, I mean the C drive and then Windows, and then eHome and e res just past it should be then the first few scrolls it, it's the largest file you can just sort it by size and it will be right there and open using resource hacker and go rc data press c on your keyboard and search for common animated background like so right click replace resource open with new resource and it is in pictures uh, you want the PNG one click sorry click open and then insert RC da data resource name common dot animated dot background and then dot png the image does have to be png and then in and then put the language as 1033 and then click on replace and then there's another one it's common um, ah, I forgot the name of it common background PNG and then select the PNG image And then just put common dot background dot png. That's not a period. And then, oh, did that a bit too soon. It's RC data and then common background dot png then the language is the exact same it depends on your computer um, language as well then you could go file save as do it on your desktop and name it the exact same and then save it and then just go to your desktop actually you should go to um, the eHome folder copy it and then paste it and then it will be it will automatically rename it to another one you know just in case if things go wrong and then just drag and drop it into the eHome folder in Windows oh yeah um, the skip I skipped the step you're supposed to right click it go to properties go to security um, go advanced settings and then change owner and then go to advanced and then um, just change this so that it only shows users click on find now select your user click ok click ok again then click OK again click edit click 
click on full control well allow full control click OK click yes and then OK again then now you move it to it <laughs> and then replace the file are you sure? are you sure? let's, let's check again Let me just give it a give me a second. Oh, you're supposed to select your user. Um, yeah, your users. No, no, all applications. But yeah, click on users and then click apply. Click yes. I hope that was it. Okay, let's skip that previous one. Um, now if you open up Windows Media Center, it will have a new background. Now um, you can also change the side areas as well. Um, that would require a more in-depth video, but um, this is basically all I wanted to show you fairly simple if you want um, the link to this um, image just let me know in the uh, comments and then I'll put a link in the description and um, yeah this has been brought to you by Windows 8 TM hacks like comment subscribe